Hello, Gordlings. Welcome to the Cyber Patch, where we play games and vie to take over the garden. This is episode three of Unpacking. If you want to learn more about the game, please see episode one. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, so last time we took a super duper long time to get this one done. This time I'm hoping I can be a little bit faster. I'm gonna really just like buckle down. 2007, okay. Oh, wow. This is the first time I think we've had a bunch of stuff already out. What is this? Oh, we have like a floor plan. It's very different than the last two videos. Okay. It looks like kitchen. Wow, there's a bunch of stuff already here. Are we supposed to get rid of stuff or? I'm a little confused. I can't pick up any of this. Oh, we're moving in with somebody. We're packing around another person. That's cool. Okay. Apparently they're super into bugs. That's creepy. Huh. So maybe a clothing designer? That's interesting. So this place is already lived in. That's like, okay. All right, let's get started. Okay. Let's start with the room that we began in. Okay. Oh, I recognize a lot of this stuff already. All right. I like the PlayStation over here. All right. This one's gonna be tough to go fast with because we just have so much to do. All right. We got the CD, CD, board game. I wonder if these board games are like uh, jokes on real ones. I like this. Rascal. Oh, it looks like um, Munchkin. Okay. Azora's Catan, it looks like. And Capital, probably Monopoly. All right, that's a cool selection of games. I don't know if you've ever played Munchkin, but it's a good one. It's like um, a card game where you have like people and you outfit them in weapons and armor and cool traits and stuff and then like fight other ones where they have to survive monsters. The one I played was like a Munchkin Zombies one. All right, is this a bath mat? I don't know how to unroll it. Okay, maybe it's a blanket, actually. We'll be able to unwrap that on the bed soon, I think. So more sketchbooks this time. We do draw a lot of like <laughs> humanoid animals I don't know if you're picking up on what I'm, I'm suggesting there which you know not necessarily bad just <laughs> interesting How the heck do I unroll this? Is it not supposed to unroll? Do I just put it underneath something? We'll focus on that later. Oh, is there gonna be just enough CDs to fill out this whole thing? That would make me happy. Oh man, it annoys me how messy this other person is. There's stuff in random places. I want it to like all be nice and like put away. Actually, this should probably go on this side so it's closer to the remotes of its type. Hmm, rollerblading or skateboarding maybe? Roller derby, yep, okay. Mug. We remember a lot of these guys from the last episode. Oh, which reminds me, we have to find uh, the pig who lives here. We're still trapped in one of the boxes. Am 
messed up. Oh, is this a fridge magnet? Oh, we didn't have fridge magnets last time. That's cute. But the question is, we have to arrange these in a way that they, like, get up. Here's a question. If we... Can we put our sketches underneath these? Oh, yeah. Our plates. Our bowls. Ooh. Why did we bring the sponges again? That seems like such a weird item to pack. You know what I mean? It's like, this guy probably has sponges. <laughs> I don't know. Or I guess, maybe not guy. I don't know. Is there anything that like, tells us who we're living with? We know they're into roller derby. We know they like PlayStation. Alright, so if sponges are gonna go anywhere, it's under the sink. Na duh. Our water bottle, maybe back here for now. Bug spray, maybe won't go in here. I noticed we bring we didn't bring all of our plates this time. And not all of our bowls, and not all of our tiny plates. In fact, we got rid of the odd color ones. Bums me out, because I kind of liked the uh, odd color. Do they have a way of arranging? What? Their handles aren't paint all po pointed in the same direction? Who even is this person? It's like they don't know how to arrange mugs. What the heck is this thing? We talked about it last episode. It looks like it... I think it might be a peeler, but I've just never seen a peeler like this. You know what I mean? I, I just can't think of what else it could be. It looks like maybe you squeeze it, but I don't know what would like go in between. It just, it's very, oh, I know where this goes. Okay, long things kind of go in there. It just is very, um, it's just kind of weird. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> what it is. It does look like it fits really well in here though. So that's nice. I should probably wait to pack all this stuff because I just I know we're gonna like run into a bunch of different things we're gonna need to put away. Can we open the fridge? Oh, that makes me sad. Okay, I don't even know if I can put anything in here. What is that? That that's probably cleaning stuff, right? Yeah. Can the bug spray go in there? No. I don't know if anything is gonna be able to go in there. Put our press maybe up here. Sugar looks like it got to go up here. Oh wait, no, sugar looks like it's gotta go next to espresso machine. What am I thinking? Crazy. Water bottle. Maybe it goes in our room. Looks like it goes up there. It's nice to have all the dish towels in the same spot. I notice I'm a little worried. I don't know where to put this uh, spoon here. You know what would be interesting? There was a garbage where we like could throw away things that we weren't able to like fit. So we had to like pick and choose what it was that we could keep and like have to get rid of things that we didn't feel like we needed. Maybe the game would stop us from getting rid of like specific things, but I think that might be an interesting mechanic. Especially for the kind of like situation they're putting us in. Cause like this is a very like, I didn't realize there were so many different things you could do with this concept. like. I mean, like, I get that this is, like, a very different experience for a lot of people. But it's just, like, moving in anywhere. Um, but it, it never occurred to me that you could, like, do so many different kinds of situations and gleam so much about the life of this person. And in very undramatic ways, too. 
like, I was wondering, like, maybe there's, like, somewhere we're moving, like, we have to live in a shelter, maybe, because of, like, something going on where there's, like, a tornado or a storm, and we have to, or, like, something bad happening, and we have to, like, live somewhere else for a while. We have to, like, choose what belongings. I think choosing what belongings to bring would be a, t a super interesting, like, aspect that you could add to this game. Not that it needs much more. It does feel very good and fun and nice. Oh, yeah. So satisfying to put stuff up there. Air spray. For some reason I don't... Or Febreze. I feel like it doesn't... Shouldn't go in here. Dude, I love how many storage places we're getting. Alright. So... Oh, that's interesting. So, there's pads already here. And that could be something for us, maybe if we've been coming here a lot. Or it could be the other person. So, here's another question. What is our relationship to the person that we're moving in with? Are we moving in with a roommate? Or are we room moving in with a... Uh, partner if I could find a picture maybe that looked like two people who are together if I could see that some of our stuff was already here that might clue me in if what whether or not we had been here a lot before you know oh you know what the fact that um we have our own, like, space, our own room. Which isn't to say that that, like, definitely means we're not, like, in a romantic relationship with whoever we're moving in with here. But I would say that that does make it a little bit less, like, not that the concept of, like, what's the word? I think it's totally, like, something that somebody could do or they move in with someone who they're like interested in but they still have their own space that's like not just an office but they're like where they could sleep if they wanted to it seems like it would be a useful uh sort of idea you know have your own space i would say that that isn't what like i know is the like super often <laughs> picked choice for that kind of situation moving in with somebody so i suspect i suspect that what we're looking at is someone moved out of this room this room was open we're moving into this room i should check have i done all the other rooms kind of saving our room for last a bit So this should go maybe to the bathroom and this should go to the bathroom. Oh, I like that less than when we had the bar that we could hang it on. That was so nice to look at. So perfectly. Oh, oops. We have the bug spray. That kind of fits nice up there. I feel like I don't want to put it behind. There's only that one, like, really nice spot for putting something. Bothers me a little bit. Oh, cutting board. We forgot to put the... Oh, there's a cutting board right there. Align it with the circle. As one would be want to do. Ugh. This press always is kind of annoying, because I... You know, I, w I want to put it up here, right? There's only this space, and that's with, like, stuff that, like, clearly is not related to, like, this type of item. I would say put it on the counter, but the cookie pot is the only thing, like, this and the cookie pot we could move, right? Then where does the cookie pot go? I guess it could be kind of, like, more of sitting in the middle of the counter. We could move this bottle to, like different room, I guess. Not a huge fan of putting our water bottle down here. Hmm. 
All right, let's 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 do that for now. We'll come back for our water bottle if we think of another spot that we could put it, which I bet will be our room. Okay, let's open this. I think we're making good time, guys. Put that book there. Or actually, I should probably not put my books on my other on the other person's stuff. I do want to analyze the books again. Dragon. Okay, so these look like regular novels. Fiction. Like ghosty. Cool little figure. Oh, it matches the figures up here. Uh, this looks like similar to one of our books that's in actually in our own room. Let's remember that we put pictures in places uh, because these pictures might be best suited in our own room. This was something we put in our room last time. I'm gonna put things that like I recognize as like kind of like that kind of thing. We'll remember that we put stuff in here. Because the fact that, like, they are in this room doesn't mean they have to be in this room. So, and it's obvious when things are, like, definitely supposed to not be. So it looks like this is definitely, like, a D&D &D table. There's a cool, there's a dice tower, there's a bag of dice, uh, some character sheets, a rule book. That's cool. So I wonder if these are, like, uh, figures for D&D. &D. I hope... I like this little chicken. We still have a cat train director. We have our art stand. Okay. I wonder if we're moving in with a cosplayer. With the, uh, with the, uh, there's the bust here where they're making, like, a cool dress. There's, like, oh, oh. These uh, three pictures, those are the same as the three figurines here. So I bet this is like the D&D &D party. And I bet our character was this. And we would usually bring it, but now we can just store it here. And then there's the, the cool picture. That's good. I feel like this should go in this room, actually. Maybe we drew this picture. I know we're kind of an artist. I feel like it should almost be like this. So you can look over and know who your character is and what they like. Here to be. Maybe this one can go in here as kind of. Oh, I don't like that the frame doesn't match the other frames, though. So maybe we'll put these like here. Like. I kind of like that. All right. So that's almost everything. Now we gotta go through this stuff. Oh, epic giant dice. Cool little trying pad. What was the time on this thing? It said 2007, I believe, right? So we're looking at... That's, I was, I was pretty young in 2007. Our planner, a way better monitor. Very cool. We still have our super old keyboard though, I like that. And our, our oldish mouse. I wonder if I'll have the, um... oh, I like that it's all worn now. See that like kind of the flap on the edge is like curled up. <laughs> it's funny, I just said that I looked down at my mouse pad, which is very similar. Has kind of the whited out middle from the friction. That's pretty neat. I like that a lot. I better towers in this box. Put this shirt. Mm, let's stack them in the closet for now, and then we can choose what to hang up once we have everything out. I love how big our desk is. Oh man, it's just like so much more room with the desk. I know we technically lost some like shelf space, but still. I'm saving these postcards because I wonder if we can put them on our fridge. Still have our iPod. Gotta remember we can put stuff under the pillow. 
I love the um, assorted hangers left behind and then like the assorted hangers brought as a very relatable <laughs> kind of experience there. Oh, we have the little pin board to... Oh, that's cute. I like that. So this is five years after the last episode, right? No, no, it was 2004 in the last episode. So it's about three years. So we must be nearing completion with, uh, we must be nearing completion with school. Um, a cool little worker's apron, yoga mat, pajamas. Man, these boxes take so much room up. Some more journals. We have so many journals. Probably for classes, now that I think about it. We still got the anatomy textbooks. I bet, I definitely think we're studying biology. This one looks like also maybe an anatomy textbook. <laughs> we have a better Game Boy now. Oh, the cool Game Boy cartridges. I like that. Me and my stepdad, our favorite Game Boy game to play together. Um, we, we played this game so much. Uh, we still do is uh, Advanced Wars. I absolutely love that game. It's, I'm not sure if it's like a particularly good game. Um, kind of feels a little bit like chess, sort of. Um, oh, we found the pig. Heck yes. Still trying to come up with a name for that pig. Um, oh, this looks like maybe a diploma. So maybe we're already graduated. Maybe we are an adult, as it were. Huh. Not that we weren't an adult before, but okay, that's unexpected. So we must have graduated pretty early, if that is a diploma. I, d I don't really know what a diploma looks like, I guess. But to me, that, that does seem like it would be related to the schooling we were doing. It's actually like a Nobel Prize and like I just have, <laughs> I'm just like super uncultured and like that was like a huge reveal. I'm just like completely like, oh neat, I guess we graduated or something. <laughs> files, and the files fit here? Oh, they can, I like that. Nice and like perfectly. Cap. Socks. I like our sock collection. They're all very interesting and unique. I have these horrible socks with <laughs> that my mom gave me, which have pictures of my little brother's face all over them. And the other day, I was jealous of all my friends' cool socks, so I wore them as a, as a, you can't beat my socks. And they all said, they all gaslighted me. They said they were nice socks. It drove me crazy. They are horrific to look at. I love my little brother and I love my mom, but oh my lord, there's tiny baby face <laughs> photoshopped like eight different places on each of the socks. It's very upsetting. Oh, we got everything out of boxes. Very cool. Oh, I forgot about this. That's where we're, I'm so glad. I was a little nervous. I was like, I don't know where we're gonna be putting like the underwear and stuff or where we're gonna be putting sh like, are we just stacking all the shirts and pants on the floor? Like, okay. That gives us a place to kind of put certain textbooks and stuff. Maybe files can go in here too. All right, let's get started. I don't want this video going quite as long as last time. Shoes definitely go on bottom. Oot. Gotta figure out where the, okay, like that.
Why can't I push that all the way back? Okay, let's bring them all a little bit forward. All right, put underwear in here. I'm a little worried about how we're gonna do this desk space. We also have seven socks, which is really quite infuriating. Um, that is messed up that unpacking is doing that to us. Seven socks. How am I supposed to arrange seven socks? This is... This is beyond the pale. This is... This is war. All right, <laughs> let's just, well, I hope we'll figure out something by throwing stuff in there. I feel like maybe hat, oh, I can't put the hat in the drawer. Maybe the frisbee can go in there? That just seems strange and wrong. Let's look at the clothing we have. Maybe there's like a, another like thing that we can put in there. Okay, so we have too many shoes. That's interesting. Maybe we can fill up the extra space with shoes. These kind of look like socks. I'm trying to figure out where their arch is. I think that's the left one and this is the right one. No, because they're pointed apart all weird. Okay. Oh, it doesn't like that those are there. I see. This may be an upgrade, but we're still we're still at the whim of, what the heck? I can't fit all the shoes down there. Where am I gonna put these horrible shoes? I don't want them there. I Oh, they can go in the base of the other closet. That makes sense. Oh, I could put a book in here. Except it does not like that. What do you want from me, game? You don't want me to put this in here? That seems totally valid. Game can't go in there. Frisbee can't go in there. What am I supposed to do here? What? What the heck? None of this stuff can go in here? Maybe, can the art stuff go in there? What? Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay. This is a jacket, so jackets get hung up. All right, are we able to like take this stuff down and like put it here? Oh, we can kind of, that's cool. We will organize these by their respective hangers soon enough. We'll put pajamas down here for now. All right. Ah. Frisbee, hat, hat can't go on ground. Let's take the frisbee out. Weights. Shoes. Like this. Ultimate Frisbee. Can the yoga mat fit in here? It can. Wow. That is a larger space than I thought it was. This bag can go in there. That seems like the things that should go in there. Open this. Pants will go. Well, pants are easier to pick out than shirts, so I'm gonna put the pants at the top. Pants sort of come after shirt. I believe these are all the pajamas. Here's all of our kind of logoed t-shirts, so we'll put those together. Kind of like the D21. I don't know how to arrange these. We have the warm colors, we have the cool colors, and then we have like super hot colors. So maybe like that. A mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, no. 
like this. I think I'm fine with that. All right, and then we got to do, is it night outside? Was it always night outside? <laughs> is it telling me I'm taking way too long? I'm scared to check how long I've already taken here. Okay, I'm going to store these two shirts maybe with the pajamas. Or now I'll do it like this. And then we'll put these on top of the kind of button up. And then we can put pajamas with pants. That looks good to me. 10 p.m. Oh, we can turn on the computer. I forgot about that. Is it running the same that it was? Pig goes on the bed. But this book can't go there. Seems like a perfectly valid spot to put the book. Maybe I could put it right there, fill that extra little spot. It's not horrible. Oh, I like that. We have a cool little moon. Oh. Can I move the mouse around and like... No? Okay, that's fair. All right. A little sticky note thing telling us stuff. Eraser. Maybe we should stack these like right here. Not right there, but against the like wall. So like that goes here, and then we like stack like this. That seems nice. All right. Oh, I forgot about all these books. Okay. Oh, we have this here. Planner. Okay. <laughs> This in here, maybe? Make some room to put stuff on the desk. Like that. And then I can stack some books up there. Yeah, so now we have the day planner. That's gotta be accessible. We have this little journal, which looks like Neato. Oh yeah, we had the other room with the other books that we were gonna move in here. Did we have another book that felt like it shouldn't be up here? This book kind of feels a little out of place. Th sorry, this book feels a little bit out of place. No matter where we put it. Oof. I guess we'll just keep it here. But maybe on this side. Or maybe we'll do it like that and then move this one over like that. Move this one over like this. That looks a little better. I forgot about all this. Okay. Oh, you can change the position. I like the sitting down and thinking one. All right. Textbooks should probably be accessible. Just don't. All right, let's, can we put them up there? No, that's so rude. What? Insanity. We'll put them in here. Can I not stand them up straight? There we go. Let's put them down here. Can I not? Is the bottom shelf too short? I think it is. All right. Blue goes with blue, obviously. And then White can't go in the center because it's only one.
maybe put this little green one right up here, the little plant. We have our cool little books, we have these cool little notebooks. These look like old sketchbooks, so I'm going to put them up there. These also look like we pulled them out for specific things. These are the books that we need a lot. Put our cool postcards up here. I wish we could put them at like angles, you know what I mean? Oh, you know what I wanted to check? Yay! That's cool! Then we can kind of do this. Oh, and we can move the little happy face sticky. did not come up with a place for this. Is this drawer still empty? Damn it. Hmm. <laughs> oh, something can go under the bed. I kind of like the idea of putting this under the bed, although I don't like the concept. Oh, it doesn't like me putting it under the pillow either. Fine. So here's the question, what does it want us to put under the pillow? Because I really feel like there's a specific thing it sort of wants us to put under there. Put the frisbee under there. Keeps teasing us with that. Hmm. iPod maybe? iPod can go under the pillow. We'll put that under there for now, but we will not forget about it. the book over here again. Ugh, this thing's gonna be a pain in the butt, isn't it? Unfortunately, I think this might make more sense right here. Then I don't know where to put these. Put them up here, but that doesn't really feel accessible. You know what I mean? Oh man, I'm taking a long time, aren't I? Oh no. Oh no. Put this over here, put that up there. Mm. It's going under the bed. I can't decipher these insane rules. It's big die. We'll go on the cool table where people are playing D&D. This chicken has to go somewhere. Alright. Uh-oh. This bed's getting a little crowded. Okay, maybe we're allowed to put it in here. Cute little chickens. That's cute. This is our cute little car. A little desk fidget, maybe. We have the Eiffel Tower. We have the Leaning Tower of Pisa. If I put this here, I can put the Eiffel Tower behind the desk here. Maybe on the edge. I'd be pretty nervous about knocking it down. But we might have to make exceptions situations that are out of our control. I could put the Eiffel Tower there, and I could put the Leaning Tower of Pisa here. In the interest of time, I think I'll have to accept that. We have the water bottle. The cookie jar can't go here. How can the cookie jar not go there? Okay, that's going to go up there. Cookie jar is going to go back there. Water bottle is going to go here. Water bottle is going to go... Okay, we're bad. If I move the sugar over one, the water bottle right there. Okay. Hey, we did it! I bet this didn't take too long. I bet this one was actually 40 minutes. Okay, so now we take the pictures. 
here's what I'm feeling like. I'm pretty excited we have a lot more space. I don't know if our character is necessarily excited. I like that. That's a cute picture. I don't know if our character is necessarily excited. I mean... Maybe moving is sort of like something that's not exactly like unknown to us. I'm pretty excited to move into my own place with a few roommates who I know pretty well. I think that, you know, that that is exciting. This is like kind of the first time it's your own place. Last time it was your own place through the school or for taking school, you didn't like necessarily feel like you were good at it. You had your like a little bit of space and that was neat, but now it's like a home. This frame might be too homey, but maybe this kind of postcard look. Suddenly we were in our new place. Does kind of look like the superhero kind of place to, you know, the dorm almost looking thing, but this isn't the dorm. I think this might be the one we go for, for our sort of like mood setter. Not a memory like that. This one's pretty crisp. I like the like super crisp because it kind of feels like, you know, this is a crisp memory. This is closer to where we are now. Hmm. We have kind of golden. We could look at it through this fairy like, we're in our own home finally. Ooh, I love this one. I know it's not making sense for this one, but I absolutely love it. Okay, I think this is the one because I think we're finally, this is the first time we're like in our place. Do we want a sticker? I do feel like I'm not using stickers enough. Maybe hearts. Can I like twist the hearts around? That would be cool. Stars. This is the one. This is the one. It's coming through the window at us. All right, are you guys ready? Three, two, one. Nap. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, next picture, next room. We have a time, we have a time to keep here, guys. No time for messing around. Now we're playing D&D. &D. That's fine. We're gonna do it with the other stuffies, too. The pig is clearly the DM, and the chicken and the bird are playing with him. All right. <laughs> this is so cute. The dice is going to be next to him. We need the DM screen, but that's okay. We know what's going on. Snap. Or not snap. Now I feel silly. All right. Now it's like, yeah, it's like a... Da-da! An encounter. Suddenly. I know we've used this sticker before, but it seems like the right sticker for this. It's like, you guys are in the middle of something now. And then do we want an effect? Hmm. I like the crisp one again. It looks like it makes sense. Like everything is very here and now. Dun dun dun! It's a DM thing. There's a there's attack. Your guys are gonna have to defend your party and stuff. All right. No more messing around. Okay. Three, two, one. Snap. Oh yeah. All right. Put everything back. You're up there, mommy hen. Now the pig. Hmm. 
doing cosplay stuff. <laughs> Super into bugs? I don't know. If we put him here, we could put one of the controllers next to him. I wish there was one where we could put it, like, in front of him. Oh, wait. Maybe there is, if I do. Nope. Okay. This is, for real, my favorite part. Just, like, designing these little scenes with the stuff around. And I do this. Does that make sense? Like, laying back and playing. I wish we could put something on the TV. Maybe we can with the stickers. I'm a genius. All right, putting one here. Mm, too big. Thumbs up. Turn it like this. Now that looks like nonsense. This heart needs to turn though. <laughs> We're playing pro skater. All right. And maybe this one does make sense. All right. This seems good. All right. The frame, probably the video game frame again? Ooh. Yeah, let's do the Game Boy frame again. Just feels like it's so on the nose. And then for the effect, let's do the kind of gamey one. All right, I like it. Three, two, one. Snap! Let's get going, folks. We don't have time for this. In the kitchen, all right. I like the one that we did last time where he was too short. I don't know if we can top that one. Maybe in this one he's making coffee? Oh, but he doesn't fit up there. In this one, he's stealing from the cookie jar, clearly. I don't know how I didn't think of it before. Just sitting on the counter. <laughs> just sitting on the counter eating cookies. Not even hiding, just like... This one's almost a little sad. It's like sitting on the counter, just like... This is a scene in like a montage of like sad scenes of him just being like sad around the house. And a montage would have maybe this look. Although this looks like kind of thriller. Maybe this? Yeah. And just sad scenes around the house. Hmm. Not making it like any darker than it needs to be. Maybe this one will be that slightly duller one just because it's like sad scenes around the house. Want to cut down, cut out the top of this thing. <laughs> this is like too spooky I think but this is like not exactly sad yeah okay we'll do this one click all right back yes cookie jar back in the bathroom in this one he's taking a shower turn around modest make it look like it's in his hand Maybe if I put it on the other side like put him like here he has it on the other side of him Do, 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 do. 
This one is another one in the sad montage scenes. He's just sitting in the shower. Just like thinking. Do I have him like staring out the window sitting in the shower? No, he has to be sitting in the middle. We have to imagine the water is like running down his face. I feel like we have to either be able to see his face or have him just like turned completely away. I think that's good. All right. Camera. Zoom in. Maybe this one needs to be zoomed out. This one, we do this frame again or this frame again. But maybe we do the kind of like gloomy. This one's definitely feels more horror-esque, but I like it. All right. Click. All right. Now we're back in the bedroom. We did it, folks. We've done it. It's time to click the thing and say, wow, we're done. Click. Oh, yeah. 20. Mmm, delicious. This was a big day. I'm ready for bed. I don't know if this one necessarily told me, like, much more about the situation we're in. I feel like... This one's pretty simple. We're moving in with a roommate, possibly a partner. I suspect probably a roommate though. Um, oh, oh, I forgot about the best part. For this one, I'm gonna speed it up a lot because I wanna see if it's more satisfying the faster it gets. And if it's not, next time we'll do a slower speed. Let's do it. Whoa. It's satisfying when we stay in one room but it's a little bit less satisfying when we're like jumping from room to room. That's kind of fun. I think next time I might run it a little bit slower. Oh, that's nice. I, I do like it, especially when I'm unloading the boxes. It's just like all like jumping out and the box disappears. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. The filling of the drawers. Like when everything comes out and goes back in in a more like arranged way. I'm excited to see the pig jump around again. Oh yeah. Mm. If any of you know where I was maybe supposed to put that mat, another idea for what I could have put under my pillow, uh, please tell me. I would definitely be super interested to know. Oh, yeah. Oh, I just realized what that little red book is. It's literally the photos we've been taking. I'm such a silly dummy. Oh, my goodness. It, the red book is the... It's the picture book that we're in right now with the red edges. You know, there was different picture books I could have picked for the save. If I had picked a, the green one... Would we have a green picture book? Because in the safe, in the safe, let me show. In the save, yeah, we picked the red one, but if we had picked the blue one, would it be blue? I'm gonna check it real fast just to see. Your mom. Wait, I'm the only one who sees this. It's me. All right, so we remember this. I'm just pulling stuff out. I want to find the cool little book. I want to see if it's green now. All right. Oh, it is blue. It's blue now. Oh, that's cool. Okay, let's get out of here. That's Nito Tostito. Your mom. Okay. Well, I think that's the end of this episode today. Thank you so much for uh, tuning in and watching my third episode of Unpacking, a game where we're super cool and super hot and super sexy, and everybody loves us and wants to be us, and we keep unpacking and moving places. The next episode I'm going to do, uh, the, the next episode I'm going to upload to my channel is my Project Zomboid episode two of my winter challenge series, Endless Winter. Uh, if you want to see that, I would definitely suggest uh, looking for that on my channel. Uh, and again, don't worry, I'm not ditching this series. 
after the Project Zomboid episode two, I will come back for episode four of Unpacking. It's definitely going to be a kind of like one, then the other. I think it keeps it interesting. I'm not neglecting like too much of an audience uh, if people want to see games that are a little bit different than this one. And I think it, it's fun to be able, even for me, to just be able to kind of switch back and forth, uh, take a break from one to do the other, uh, back and forth like that. Uh, there's not too long that you have to wait for either one of them, and we'll all have a good time. Thank you so much for watching. Um, Cybergord loves you, my little, my little spooky, spooky squordlings, my little squash potatoes, my little sweetie potatoes, my little zucchini beanies, my little.